Hi, my name is Charles here at JTEC. And we're gonna do our alignment measurements with, uh, it's called the Easy, Easy Line Alignment Adjustment Tool. Uh, this tool has fancy instructions in it. And follow the instructions. Now again, this is just measurements. It doesn't fix anything. So depending on how you measure, it can be, it's all on you, you're a human being. Now some of the tools you're gonna need, Will be uh, the piece. All the tools you need are provided inside the kit. Let's get the alignment kit. Uh, so set up. Let's go to the front tire and set it up. So if you follow the guide, it shows toes first. We're not. It's never smart to do toe first. So we're actually going to do our uh, our angles, our thrust angles, and scrub angles on the back first. Still, you need to set up the front axle. So if you come down here. This is for the front for the steer hubs. This thing is fully adjustable. Just Allen keys that fully adjust to any lug nuts. Now if you also look, it's got two set screw holes. That's for your lug nuts to see if they have this uh, this lip offset lip or not. So these do, so we're gonna put on the second one. Very simple, turns. And that's two. So again, this is just the front steer axle adapter for this alignment tool. Once you get it on, there's a bubble level on it. You just Set the bubble level, and in the middle of this level is a, another Allen set screw. Tighten this down. And we have it. So now, the second part of our setup for the rear is using the hub adapters and the laser in the hub. All the hub adapters, a, mag a magnet comes out, screws into the back of your laser. Pop right into the center of your hub. It has a, all you do is just turn it to a level. It's got another bubble level on there. Very good. Laser on. Laser on. Do the front. It's right in the middle. For the thrust, we're gonna do the right in the middle. Now one of the cool things about this set is that it's uh, it's boasted to be a all-in-one do-it-yourself set. So what we've done with our tape measure, we made up this little piece. All it is is a screw inside a piece of wood with a bunch of weight on it. This allows us to set it up, set our tape measure on it, and go do our adjustments. Our measurements, excuse me. Your front axle looks like 35 and a half inches. That's our distance. Now for our second distance, because again this is scrub angle, we move our block set back to this axle and do the other measurement. This is 52 and uh, looks like 3 8 3 8 7 16 maybe. Uh, so now we're going to do the same thing to the other side and, and verify the measurements to make sure they're identical. If they're not identical, it shows us which way our axles are moving. So that's how we do thrust angles. So we're going to set up the other side and we'll come back and show you how to offset. All right, so this portion, we're gonna measure offset. So the way you measure offset is you set up your, 
easy light tool in the center of the hub of the vehicle. You take another laser, you mount it onto the uh, onto the frame. Now, if you look at the instructions, it says that between the center of your frame, it doesn't really matter as long as you can put it in the same spot on both sides to measure offset. So we put this behind the tire, which puts the laser on the ground. We're measuring from one parallel line to the other parallel line. We're not measuring from the center here. So, I can't measure the parallel line, comes out. We're looking at 34 even. So what we would do is we do the exact same setup on the other side, and we check to make sure that the axle is again 34 even. If it is not, if you push more back and forth, we know how we need to correct. Correct with shims, you might have to loosen up your uh, U-bolts, whatever it takes. But now you know how to do it. So now we're gonna do the second one with the offset, same thing. We're gonna take it, we're gonna take our laser, we'll put it in the on the axle. And again, we need to make sure we can put it on the same spot. So we need a reference point. We go underneath the tire once again. This one is 34 and 116. So again, we check the other side, make sure it's 34 and 116. It's not adjust. So that's how we do offset. Next one we're going to do, we're going to measure toe and that will complete the video. So let's go do toe. Okay, so now we're measuring toe. Uh, if you look how we got the setup down here, so we have a laser on each side of the, uh, of the mounting bracket. Now if you look, this bracket isn't completely across, we just found it was across. It doesn't matter how this is mounted onto the actual rim. I don't think it has to be straight across. As long as this level level is level, it's fine. We got level, we got two lasers on the end. And again, this, this system is touted to be a one-man system. So we have a weight on the other side, and we've got a tape measure hooked to it. We've got our measurement here, which is 106 and 16th. 116th was blowing a little bit, so we have to wait for the wind to calm down. So now we do is we take a measurement for the back. So what we do, we can take a measure out, put the back over, we'll go to the other side, hook it up. Now we've got. One sit, well, 105 and a half. Uh, I don't know, it looks like about 9 sixteenths, 10 sixteenths. Uh, so obviously this tire is towed out. So we need to fix the toe on that. So this is an easy way to fix toe or to measure toe. Again, this is the measurement tool. This is not a fixing tool. You still have to fix all these pieces the same way you would measure any other way. Uh, hopefully this is helpful. Um, if you learned something, great. If not, if I missed something, please put in the comments below. Thank you very much.